Parts of a Tenu Soccer Field A training and informational video intended for Tenu Division volunteers, parents, spectators, and players. This video will cover basic parts of the soccer field. It is important to note that all lines are part of the area at borders. The ball is only out of play when the ball has completely crossed and is no longer touching the line. These balls are still live and in play. These balls are out of play. Touch lines and goal lines form the borders of the field. Touchlines commonly referred to as sidelines, make up the sides of the field. Goal lines make up the ends of the field. The halfway line divides the field in half. The halfway line connects the midpoints of the touchlines. The center mark is the midpoint of the halfway line. The center mark is where the ball is placed for kickoffs. Kickoffs start the match or game at the beginning of each half. Kickoffs restart the game after each goal. The center circle marks the area opponents must remain outside of for kickoffs. The corner area is where the ball can be placed for corner kicks. The lines marking the corner area is part of the corner area. The goal area is where the ball can be placed during goal kicks. The lines outlining the goal area is part of the goal area. The penalty area marks the area where a goalkeeper can handle the ball, commonly referred to as using their hands. The lines outlining the penalty area is part of the penalty area. The penalty mark marks the spot where penalty kicks are taken. The penalty arc is only used for penalty kicks. All players from both teams, except for the kicker and goalkeeper, must remain outside of the penalty area and the penalty arc during a penalty kick. Tenu fields have an extra set of lines located midway between each penalty area and the halfway line. These are the build-out lines. The build-out lines are a player development tool intended to provide defenders with opportunities to build attacking sequences, starting in the defending third of the field. All opponents must move behind the build-out line for goal kicks or when the goalkeeper has possession of the ball. They must wait until the ball has been put into play before they can cross the build-out line. Additionally, the build-out lines replace the halfway line as the determination point for offside position. A player cannot be in an offside position in their own half or between the halfway line and the opponent's build-out line. A player can only be in an offside position in the opponent's half between the build-out line and the goal line as demonstrated by the shaded area. Please like and subscribe if you found this video helpful in introducing you to the parts of a soccer field. If you have questions or requests for videos, submit them to AYSO Region 1046 at soccer at AYSO1046.org. Visit AYSO1046.org for our programs and registration information.